Hello, and welcome to the second video tutorial for Google Earth. In the first video tutorial, you learned how to download Google Earth version 5.0 for a PC. In the second video tutorial, which is this one, you will learn the basic navigation functions in the right-hand corner of Google Earth. Once your download has, complete, has been completed, you will see a Google Earth icon on the left-hand or right-hand side of your screen. It will look like this. Double-click on it. And it will bring up your main screen for Google Earth. As mentioned in the first video, you have a startup tip, which will always be there when you open Google Earth. These are very interesting and great tips to have when learning more information about Google Earth. You can find these tips in your Google Earth menu, and you can show the next one or the previous one, but you'll learn about those later. So first, for this video, we're going to close them. The navigation bars that are on the right-hand side of the screen are these two buttons and the zoom in and out. For the first one, you see a little N. That N means that there's the North Pole. It will always let the viewer show or see where the North Pole is. So we can click on anywhere in this button, either up, down, right, or left, and we can rotate the Earth in a whole circle. See, there's the North Pole, somewhere up there. And then if we wanted to bring it back, we just click on the right. So we clicked on the left to move a little, and then we clicked on the right to move it back. You can even click on the up arrow, which moves the whole earth down, and then you can click on the down arrow, which moves the whole earth up. The button below this is the tilt button, which shows the earth as it's moving on its tilted axis or on its axis. So if you press up, it'll turn like a little revolving door kind of thing. And then tilt it down. Then you can also tilt it on going to the right. And you can tilt it going to the left just by clicking anywhere in this in this gray space where my mouse is. You can also click in between the buttons on both of these features to go at a more like northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest kind of thing. So these are very good tools to have when trying to find either a certain location or um, just wanting to show kids how the earth moves with its axis at a tilt. The zoom button is located below this and you can either use click on this button and drag it up which is to zoom in or you can drag it down which is to zoom out or you can click on the plus button which will zoom in or the minus button which will zoom out. Either way that will work for the zoom feature. You can either zoom in on the earth and show the students um, various features of the earth like you can show like this is the North Atlantic Ocean and then an outline of the country of the US or you can zoom in more which you'll learn more about Um, in later videos and view the actual states, cities, everything. So it's a very, very unique feature to have on Google Earth and it works tremendously for students to have more of a broader knowledge of what the Earth looks like and what else in it. You have just learned the three basic navigation tools that are located in the upper right hand corner for using Google Earth version 5.0. In the third video tutorial, you will learn 
how to use the features on the left hand side of the navigation bar which includes the search places and layers so in the third video tutorial you're going to learn uh, what all the information on the left side.